The race for New York City mayor heats up. The top Democratic contenders face off tonight in their final debate. Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan, in for Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Tempers flared tonight as candidates currently behind in the polls took aim at each other. The eight leading contenders appeared on the debate stage for the last time before Election Day. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer is here with the highlights. Marsha. Well, Dick and Christine, I can tell you that if you turned into this debate, the mayoral debate, you heard a lot of the same stump speeches the candidates have been giving for months. As for one new idea to solve the homeless problem, most offered some variation of build affordable and supportive housing, except Andrew Yang. When you ask what I'm going to do differently, I'm going to rebuild the stock of psych beds in our city. I will fix this, Thank New York. You. you started out this campaign talking about using hotels. Now you're into psych beds. How much is this going to cost? This is a teaching moment. We can't, can't afford just, not to do this. You can't just walk up and say, psych beds for all. This is not how the next mayor has to comport themselves. Andrew Yang and Scott Stringer started out the mayoral campaign near the top of the pack. But now that the polls have them falling behind Eric Adams and Catherine Garcia, they tried to make the most of their last debate and score points. So did others who are currently also Rands. Ray McGuire on the worst idea he's heard from the other wannabes. Let's be very clear for black and brown communities, neither defund the police nor stop and frisk. You don't nor speak for black security. and brown communities. <laughs> How dare you assume to speak for black and brown communities? Talk, you cannot do that. I'm going to oh do it again. Black and brown communities do not want either defund or you stop and frisk. You are not speaking Full stop. for all black and brown communities because I am a member of that community and you are certainly not speaking for me. I don't think you tuned in tonight to hear us attack each other. It was that kind of night. Yang questioning the ability of former NYPD Captain Eric Adams to fight crime by pointing out that the captain's union is endorsed him. They think I'm a better choice than Eric to keep us and our families safe. They endorsed my opponent because some of those same captains remember Eric Adams and 100 blacks in law enforcement who care, who fought against abuse of stop and frisk, who fought against heavy-handed policing. Okay. So, of course, they knew that Eric is going to be a voice right, that is not Adams. going to allow this to happen. We'll that. The worst idea I've ever heard is bringing back stop and frisk and the anti-crime unit from Eric Adams, which, one, is racist, two, is unconstitutional. Cap Catherine Garcia once again played up her extensive government experience. I am not running to get the title of mayor. I am running to do the job of mayor. Well, at one point in the debate, the candidates were asked if they would give Bill de Blasio a job in their administration. All said no, including Wally and Garcia, who held top positions in the de Blasio administration. Dick and Christine. All right, Marsha, thank you. And for more on the candidates and how ranked choice voting works, go to CBSNewYork.com. There you'll find a complete primary election guide.